welcome let's solve this question on probability the question is here a box contains three brown nine pink and 15 white clothed pegs the pegs are identical except for the color a find the probability of picking one a brown peg two a pink or a white peg then part b two pegs are picked at random one at a time without replacement find the probability that one a white peg and a brown peg are picked and then the last one part two both pegs are of the same color so those are the questions let's go to the first part and in the first part um, you're required to find the probability of picking a brown peg so look at the pegs that are given three brown nine pink and 15 white so in total how many pegs are these just add three plus nine plus 15 so all of them they are uh, 27 pegs in total so out of the 27 how many are brown that is how you get the probability so the probability of uh, picking a brown peg is given by look at the browns the browns are three divided by out of the total which is uh, 27 and this one simplifies to one over nine so one over nine is the probability of picking a brown peg we go to part two a pink or a white peg a pink or a white peg so this is how we write it probability of picking a pink or means addition in probability or means addition or a probability of picking a white peg so what is the probability of picking a pink peg uh, how many pink pegs are here there are nine so the probability of picking a pink peg will be nine divided by the total pegs 27 then probability of picking a white peg how many white pegs are here there are 15 so probability of picking a white peg will be 15 divided by 27 when you add these you get uh, 24 divided by 27 and simplifying this on writing 24 over 7 in the simplest form will give 8 divided by 9 so 8 divided Simple. by 9 is the probability Simple. of picking Simple. white a pink or a white peg now let's go to part b of the question part b of the question is uh yeah two pegs are picked at a random one at a time without a replacement not this without a replacement meaning that when you pick a peg from the box uh, the total will change uh, the total will change and you have to subtract one if there are 27 pegs you pick one peg uh, the ones that remain are 26 that is what you mean without replacement one once a peg is picked uh, it is gone and now replacement is done so find the probability that one a white peg and a brown peg are picked so two pegs solve this question easily uh, it is advisable to use a tree diagram so i'm going to illustrate um, this using a um, tree diagram uh, two pegs so the first pick uh, because there are two pegs that are picked eh? when you pick uh, one peg you'll have the tree diagram looking like this so so this is uh, it will have uh, three pegs so we have uh, uh start with the way they are brown pink and white brown pink and white so this is a brown this is a pink and this is white that is the first pick the second pick you have to use the branches like this so this is the second pick second pick and uh, for the second pick again you have uh, brown you have a uh, pink and you have white so this is brown this is a pink and this is white brown pink white so uh, from there that is uh, how you illustrate it using the tree diagram two pegs picking two pegs the first one and the second one so let us uh, now indicate the probabilities so how many brown pegs are there there are three so the probability of picking that will be three divided by 27 then for pink uh, how many pinks are here pink are nine so this will be nine divided by 
27 then for white white uh, 15 15 divided by 27 like that then um the second pick is when you need to be very careful so the first pick was three out of 27 once you pick uh, one brown ball and there were three uh, the ones that are going to remain will be two then the total will change the number of uh, pegs will not be 27 it'll be 26 you be very careful there so the first pick is brown <clears throat> then you pick the second time uh, the browns will reduce from three to two then the total will change from 27 to 26 that is what we mean by without replacement so for the pinks uh, pinks will remain the same uh, pink will be 9 divided by 27 uh, 26 remember the total has changed for all of them then for the white white will still be 15 divided by 26 the total is the one that is changing so let me write it here so that i don't squeeze uh, this on so much so this will be 15 divided by 26 then we go to the the pink now uh pinks um you know the second pick <coughs> when you go to the second pick the total will have changed from 27 to 26 so the pinks uh for this one you are picking a uh, brown so pinks will not be affected so this will be nine to be nine out of 26 then if pick the first pink then the second pink you see the pinks are nine you pick again the pinks will now be eight so that will be eight divided by 26 and then whites are not affected white are going to be 15 uh, divided by 26 the total is the one that is going to change then the last one white uh then you're picking uh brown so browns are not going to be affected browns are going to remain to be three so three but the total will change because you're picking one peg so out of the total 27 then the second one is uh, pink uh, pink will remain to be nine divided by 26 then white white you pick the first white the second white the total will reduce white to 15 you pick again white will reduce to 14 divided by 26 that is very important then after doing that it is always good to this uh, black black right this the black black this is uh, not, not black but brown 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 then uh, brown pink then this one will be brown white then this one will be pink brown then this one will be pink pink this one will be pink white then this one will be white brown then this one will be white pink and this one will be white white this will be very important in helping us to solve the question now we are supposed to find the probability in this question that a white and a brown peg are picked. White and a brown peg are picked. So we just need to look at this tree diagram and look at the instances where we have a white, there are two pegs, and then first one is white, the second one is brown. It can be either way, it can be white brown or brown white. So these are the possibilities, brown white, or white brown that is why we have one of the pegs being white and the other one we have a brown a white and a brown so the first one being brown so this one will be in the probability of the first one being brown the second one being white or the probability of uh, the first one being white the second one being brown that is how you work it out uh, so probability of uh, from the tree diagram brown and white brown and white follow that uh, tree brown is 3 out of 27 so 3 out of 27 and brown white means brown and white and and in probability stands for multiplication brown and white so white is uh, 15 divided by 26 so that is the brown white then or in probability remember i said that means addition so probability of a white brown this is a white is a 15 divided by 27 apply by so multiply by brown um, 
this is a follow that branch 15 then 3 out of 26 out of 26 so when you work out this you get this will be 45 divided by 27 times uh 26 27 times 26 you get 702 702 and this one again will be the same 45 divided by 702 so when you add these uh, you get 90 divided by 702 it is always good to leave this one in the simplest form don't leave it like that so when you simplify 90 divided by 702 you get uh, 5 divided by 39 get 5 Simple. divided by 39 Simple. and that is Simple. the probability of the first one being white uh, brown and the other one being white now the next one both pegs are of the same color probability that both pegs are of the same color again we will go to the tree diagram and look at the instances where we have both pegs of the same color so we have either this one uh, brown brown and then we have uh, pink pink that one pink pink and then you have white white so those are the possibilities those are the possibility both pegs of the same color so this one means a uh, probability of brown brown or probability of pink pink or probability of white white so let's go to probability of uh, brown 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 from the tree diagram here is a 3 out of 27 times 2 out of 26 3 out of 27 times 2 out of 26 or means addition in probability then pink 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 is 9 out of 27 times uh, 8 out of 26 9 out of 27 9 out of 27 times 8 out of 26 or white white uh, white white we have uh, 15 out of 27 times 14 out of 26 15 out of 27 so 15 out of 27 times 14 out of 26 so now we can multiply out so 3 out of 27 times uh, 2 out of 26 will give 6 divided by 702 then 9 out of 27 times 8 out of 26 these are uh, 72 out of 702 the, the denominator is the same for all of them so then 15 times 14 15 times 14 this one is going to give um, 210 divided by 702 so adding everything here now when you add everything the uh, 6 out of 702 plus uh, 72 divided by 702 plus just add the numerators because the denominator is the same the denominator is um, 702 so the 6 plus 72 plus 210 this will give uh, 288 and when you simplify these writing the fraction 288 divided by 702 in the simplest form we get 16 out of 39 16 out of 39 and that is simply how you're supposed to solve that question thank you